Hello friends, in this small video, I would like to show and talk about the final element of the two-level ceiling. This element is made directly to the dimensions of a specially made niche located in the plasterboard ceiling. One of the wishes of the customer was the requirement to connect the ceiling and walls of the room in one style. In this rather small room, a visual division into two zones has been made, where one zone located closer to the entrance has wall decoration with decorative cement tiles under the old brick. Oh, laying decorative bricks indoors, you can watch a separate video, the main thing is not to forget to subscribe to my channel and then you will not miss anything. When creating the design of the room, the task was to make the ceiling in this part echo the brick wall decoration, so it was decided to divide the ceiling space into two zones, where each part of the ceiling would have to overlap with the space of the room itself located under it. According to the designer's idea, in the part of the room, where the walls are finished like brick, it was decided to place an installation on the ceiling, resembling wooden blinds. The elements of the installation are made of dark wood, and in addition to them, it was decided to install light spots made of black matte metal, which would illuminate the space of the room in this place, and would give relief to the brick walls. Behind the decorative installation, in the space of the ceiling, it was decided to place, a controller and a transformer that control the LED strip located in the ceiling of the second zone of the room in niches specially made of plasterboard. To make a decorative element, I needed an OSB sheet. A sheet cut to the size of a niche, varnished on both sides, and pasted over with light and smooth vinyl wallpaper on the front side. For the installation we used 45mm asterisk 30mm wooden blocks. Wooden blocks will be installed with equal spacing. After cutting the required number of bars along the length of the niche, grooves were made on some of the bars. In these grooves, lamps will be installed later. Next, the bars were covered with a tinting paint, and then, they were covered with a layer of glossy water-based varnish. Further, on the side covered with light wallpaper, the bars are attached to the OSB sheet using self-tapping screws. After that, four lamps are installed, and on the reverse side, the wires are wired, laid in a corrugated pipe, fixed to the OSB with clips. The installation is fixed to the ceiling by nine bolts, which, passing through wooden blocks, are screwed into pre-prepared, embedded, elements with nuts. Embedded, elements with nuts are made of plywood and fixed in the ceiling metal profile. The control of the luminaires located in the installation is carried out on the wall in the form of a two-button switch, where the left and right buttons of the switch are responsible for the left and right row of lighting. Thanks to the introduction of non-standard solutions to the design of the room, it is possible to achieve various effects, in this case, the ceiling received intonations comparable to the style of the room, and the light zoning made it possible to create a division of space into the room and gave it individuality and a sense of comfort. That's all, friends, do not forget to subscribe and like if you liked the video. Good luck to everyone and see you soon.